here we are in Atlanta, Georgia at the Paintball Extravaganza. Uh, I'm Oliver Lang. We're here in the fabulous, amongst fabulous booths here at the event. Um, the dye booth, of course. Uh, that is me before I shrunk. Uh, but, you know, I'm getting older in my age, so I tend to shrink osteoporosis. Um, anyways, we're here. We're going to explain some of the new product. Um, of course, you can see our new light of the, the Proto stuff. You know, this year we really uh, kind of stepped outside of our, our normal boundaries and kind of went with new colors and new patterns and such. And you know, it's, it's a big hit nowadays. A lot of the kids are liking these this type of uh, really bright and vibrant colors. So I think it's going to be a big hit. And, uh, and our reds kind of changed a little bit with darker red, which is, uh, I think, I like a little bit more. Um, just kind of keep coming around. So we've got the green. Reminds me of when we used to play in the bushes and the camo, but yet, new age. Um, onto our guns. This year our guns have really transformed. We've, uh, we've come up with a new gun, the NT, meaning new technology. Uh, this gun has far surpassed any of the guns that have ever been made yet to this date. Um, I mean, without a doubt, it's going to be the most air efficient gun out there on the market. It's the smallest, it's the lightest. Um, you know, there's so many different attributes to it. You know, still, of course, we've got the insert with the eye, which makes all the difference to all the guns. You know, we have that in the DM10 as well, which is similar to last year's gun, a little bit just cosmetic changes. I think it looks a little bit better, but uh, I'm very excited to be using these guns all year long. Um, you can tell these are limited edition guns if you look very closely. We've got kind of these bullet shell shrapnels on it, um, and then we've got these kind of Chinese uh, tidal waves, which are, I think are very hip looking. And then all the way continues down to the barrel with like a, a Japanese star or a Japanese sun. Um, here, this is actually probably one of my favorite things new that we've done this year. Uh, this is the new uh, carbon fiber barrel. Okay, um, it's actually done very, very well. A lot of big process goes into making this barrel. Uh, it's two pieces, well as, as uh, the old ones used to be. But if you look, it's actually stainless steel through it, and then it's coated with carbon fiber. And then again, it's got the two little rings at the end with the uh, with the die emblem right in there. I'm, uh, I'm going to take one of these with my new. Uh, and tea this weekend and be using it in London. I leave here in a couple hours, so it's my last last little bit here, little stint. Um, kind of cruise on into the die line. Uh, this year the die line, again, we stepped kind of out of the normal uh, boundaries of ourselves and got a little bit crazier, and I think they turned out very well. There's a lot going on in all the pants, but we have new color schemes and everything. The Ironman jersey is my favorite one. We don't have the Ironman jersey here right now. But other than that, there's the black and the red. Big fan favorite. And then uh, what, one thing that's really cool that we did this year is we made, uh, we made a kids line. Okay, The kids line is, is going to be a big hit. Youth sizes, a lot of kids are starting to get into it. Parents are getting their kids into it. I think it's going to be really nice to, uh, to, have, ki to have clothes that actually fit kids. You know? Look at that. I wish I wore that when I was 13, 14 years old. Maybe even younger. This is actually my, my favorite color swatch that we have. So far, it's like the, the desert camo with the red highlights, the maroon highlights. I think those look really sharp. We have the, uh, the jersey as well to match that. Those, this is my, my favorite one so far, I think. Lots of good padding into the jerseys, um, onto the wrists. Of course, I like the small cuff for when, when we use the, uh, the arm pads. It's not too much down there, it's not too bulky, it's just perfect. But uh, I'm excited to be using this. I'm going to use this, uh, the Bullets version of this jersey this weekend in London. And then, of course, on to our IR4s. I4s, I'm sorry. Um, you know, we've got a couple new color schemes. We've got the gold and the white. Uh, I'm pretty pretty standard. I like to stay with the black and the red. But now, this year, we've made uh, kind of these little, again, camouflage looking little highlights around the, the borders of it. You can tell there's a lot of detail goes into all these. You take off. This year, you know, dye's always been very, very good at making a casual line of clothing for off-field play, of course. Um, you know, everybody on the Ironman, we love it. This year, I truly think that it's been the best year for the, the casual gear. I mean, if you just look at all the, the product and the detail that goes into making it, you know, from the full zippers, just the regular hoodies, you know, these things are nice. I travel a lot. I cannot sleep on the airplane without a full-blown full, full -blown hooded sweatshirt, so it's nice. I get to, get to travel in style and comfort, class. Uh, this one's my favorite one because it's so bulky, it's so thick. I mean, you can almost feel it like, just when I hold it. 
and see how thick it is. And this this sweatshirt is going to keep me warm on those cold airplane flights. Um, another very cool thing that we did this year for all the cold places. I don't live in a cold place, but I go to a lot of cold places to play paintball. And uh, we did the winter jersey this year. Uh, the winter jersey is going to be a big hit. You know, it's almost like it's a casual line because it kind of zips down here, and it's almost made out of the same fabric. But this is the cold winter jersey. Here you can tell it's got the the hand protectors for sliding. It's got the arm pads as well to the back, and then it's a nice little hand warming pocket, which uh, which will be great for cold places like when I got to go to Hungary during the winter to play, um, or we you know somehow it always ends up seeming like we're going to the same cold places every year at the coldest times of the year. So this will be nice, you know, maybe I'll be lucky enough to play in one of these. We've come out with the, uh, the bounce top this year. Uh, last year we've kind of been doing the shorter sleeve ones, but this year, you know, I think we've really, really fine-tuned it. Um, kind of different material here at the shoulders all the way down to the wrist. Now this is good for both, for both occasions. It's good for cold and for warm. It's kind of an impressive material. You know, when it's so hot, your sweat actually uh, cools you down. And then but when it's cold out there, it keeps the body heat inside. It's, it's kind of a very strange material, but that's that's the that's the beauty of it, you know. Two new jackets. This is a very heavy-duty jacket again for those cold trips, for those cold places. <laughs> you know, when you get out there and, and you just don't want to be out there, this is what's going to save you from <laughs> from being out there in the harsh elements. This this jacket right here. Uh, we've made a couple of these jackets the last couple of years. It's this very unique. Uh, unique material. I don't know what the name of it's called, but it's waterproof and it wicks away. Uh, it wicks away all the water whenever it gets rained on, but at the same time it doesn't feel like that plasticky feeling. And we've got the, the dye emblem impressed into it as well as in the shoulder. Um, one of my favorite items are these shorts that we've uh, we've come out with this year. Um, we've had similar ones, but I think these are the best design. It's kind of the hound's tooth pattern that goes all the way down. It's got all the pockets, necessary pockets that you, uh, that you might need and uh, it makes me look fashionable out here. Another new item that we've come out with this year is uh, the Bounce Performance Top, okay? Now this isn't the same thing as this. This is a little bit more protection. Um, I'm gonna use one of these. I think a lot of pros guys are gonna use, use these because you, know, you might get a bounce here and there, but the bottom line, it's gonna protect you. And it's kind of got the same material to, to, to wick away the, the, the water when, you, uh, when you're sweating and kind of keep you cool, and then it'll also keep you warm when it's, when it's cold outside. So it's a great product. We made these. We used to use these in Proto, and now we just made a dye one. Uh, the Rotor Loader uh, has been released uh, for almost a year now, since last World Cup. Uh, best loader on the market, uh, without a doubt. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by the technology. I mean, if you guys haven't seen this yet, you need to check it out. This year, we just kind of, uh, you know, released some new colors, some new color schemes on it. You know, these are very nice and hip, and you can get the goggles to match it. You can get the gun to match and everything. But this gun, hands down, is the best technology used. Um, if you guys haven't seen this, this is what I use nowadays. I use the extended loader lid. Um, the reason for this is because you know, people might think it's bigger, it's, it's more bulky, but honestly, there's not that much of a difference and it carries that many more balls. And you know, being a front player or back player, you're always going to need maximum paint in your loader. So when I run to that corner, when people have to be loading, I'm still putting people in, wrapping and making the next move before they even have a chance. Or if I'm in the back and I'm holding a lane, once they think, oh, that lane's going to go down because he needs to reload, oh, I've got an extra 100 balls in there, which makes all the difference. Um, so I suggest checking these out, picking them up, get the quick feed in it. Again, now you can get the, the green camo with the, with the matching color quick feed and the maximized loader. I suggest this highly. This is what I'd be using. How you doing? I'm Oliver Lang, and I thank you for following us on our guide to 2010 product line here at the Paintball Extravaganza in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, if you'd like more information, please visit us at diepaintball.com. If you'd like to follow us on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace at Diepaintball.